All right, everyone. So Dragon Ball Super Chapter 84 is going to be coming out in about four days. And usually, as always, as it happens every month, we get the full chapter summary. And I'm going to be discussing them with you guys here in this video. Now, before we get into them, guys, as always, if you do not want to be spoiled in any way, shape, or form for the upcoming chapter of the Dragon Ball Super Manga, please click off the video, okay? So if you're still here, you can't say I didn't warn you, and I'm just going to assume from now on that you are just okay with spoilers, all right? So with that out of the way, and oh, also before we get into the video, uh, if you like what you see here, if you want to support me, please remember to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe if you're new, and make sure to hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video, including my review of the official chapter when it gets released on the 20th, as always, at least I think it's coming out on 20th, or yeah, it should be out in about four days, so. All right, with all of that out of the way, let's finally get to the full chapter summary. All right, now this comes to us from DBS Hype and translated by Mugiwara23. Uh, and I think he also translated the, uh, the previous chapter, chapter 83 for us as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. Now, the beginning, I'm guessing, is probably going to be, uh, we, probably going to be, of course, what happened in the draft pages, which I already did a video talking about them. So it says right here, Obi says the voice record that was in the scouter has ended. Goku is very surprised with everything he has heard from his father. Monaito says Bardock left Planet Serial as soon as he could move again, but left his scouter behind. Again, a lot of this we already covered in the video that I did from the draft pages that was officially put out by Shueisha on the official Dragon Ball website. In those memories, we see how Bardock arrived wounded at his house from Planet Serial, and then we see how he left Planet Vegeta for other missions. Goku also has memories for, of his mother in her everyday life. Again, we saw all of that. Goku also remembers the moment when his parents took him out of the tank and sent him out of Planet Vegeta and his ship. So we saw that moment in the Broly movie, but this time we actually saw it from Goku's perspective. Goku tells Vegeta that he finally understands the same pride, but on the other hand, when Goku remembered his father's face, he also remembered how he lacked faith in his own power. Now, to me, the, I, I think I already talked about this, but him understanding Saiyan pride is a little bit weird to me because I thought that he kind of already, um, kind of already understood that back in the Namek arc. At least that's what I thought. Uh, I don't know if the, maybe Toyotaro forgot about that or I don't know. Um, but I, I guess they're kind of repeating themselves here which isn't technically new for Dragon Ball Super. Uh, Vegeta tells him that he too had lost sight of what is important. What they need to preserve is not the Saiyan sins, it's Saiyan's pride. Vegeta is angry because it was Goku's father who had to remind him that uh, Goku left. Vegeta adds that he doesn't think it's fair how Goku and Raditz survived thanks to the Dragon Balls. Goku tells him that it's not his fault that Bardock made that wish. Vegeta tells Goku that thanks to that wish he has been spoiled too much Goku tells him that Vegeta also spoils Bra. Vegeta angrily says that is completely different so yeah they basically confirm that uh, Monaito did make the wish that Bardock made in the previous chapter so they basically confirm that everything we saw happen in Dragon Ball not in the Z portion but everything we saw happen in Dragon Ball uh basically Goku was being protected because of the wish that Bardock made so all the things that Goku did, all the uh, situations that he got himself out of, it wasn't because of Goku's own power. It wasn't because of his own ingenuity. He was basically being protected by the wish, which, uh, <laughs> uh, look, personally, I, I'm not a fan of it. And I know a lot of people are probably not going to are probably not going to like that. But I'm sure there's people out there who don't really care either way. And it's not uh, it's not going to change how they see uh, Dragon Ball in any way, shape or form, which is fine, by the way. I, I guess it just depends on whoever you ask, you know, whether they're okay with it or not. Me, personally, I'm just not a fan of it, if I'm being honest. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, right here. Uh, Monaito is happy to see that Bardock's will has been passed to Goku and Vegeta. He says, too, that racist pride is not for revenge. It's for accepting one's true self, and it is the same for all races. Monaito offers to heal them both before gas arrives, but before that, he changes their clothes for Saiyan armors like Bardock's. However, Goku and Vegeta are not comfortable with those armors, uh, which to me is a little bit weird because Vegeta should be used to wearing Saiyan armor at this point. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know why why he would be uncomfortable. Uh, Goku arrives at or excuse me, Gas arrives at Planet Serial and lands in front of Monito's house. He tells the Saiyans to get out. Oil was watching the house in the forest and sees Gas's arrival. He informs about about it to Elik and Maki. Elik says that they'll get close to the ship, but not very close because it's dangerous. All right, next page. Uh, Oil approaches Gas and asks how he is. Gas tells him that he already wasted too much time. Gas asks Oil to tell Elik that the battle will be over soon. 
Oyo leaves telling Gas that he will wait for him with the delicious rice that he is going to prepare, okay? Uh, Goku and Vegeta leave the house. They are fully recovered and they are wearing new normal clothes. Oh, so I, I guess they went back to um, they went back to the clothes that they were already wearing. So <laughs> I, I guess people who um, were looking forward to seeing Goku and Vegeta fight wearing those armor, uh, I guess that's not just not going to happen. Goku asks him to leave the planet. Gas says that they will do it when he kills both of them. Vegeta says he wants to kill Gas at all costs and asks Goku what he plans to do. Goku answers he also wants to defeat Gas. Vegeta says then they have no choice but to fight together, then they prepare to fight. Goku says, I will be the one to defeat him first. Vegeta says, no, I'll do it. Goku activates his perfect Ultra Instinct and Vegeta Ultra Ego. Elok, Oil, and Maki see everything from the ship. Oil explains the transformations to Maki, but Maki tells him that she doesn't understand, about, doesn't care about the names, excuse me. Uh, she just wants to know if they are strong. Oil tells her Goku and Vegeta are strong. Uh, Gas tells Goku and Vegeta that they are stupid because they still don't understand that he's at a level they won't be able to reach. Goku tells him that he's the one who doesn't understand anything. Vegeta tells Gas that it doesn't matter if they win or lose. The important thing is they want to win. The Goku and Vegeta attack Gas. Go Goku tries to punch him and Vegeta tries to kick him, but Gas stops both attacks with his arms. Goku now tries to kick him, but Gas dodges the attack. Vegeta then tries to punch Gas, but he dodges it as well. Goku continues attacking Gas, but he dodges all attacks. Vegeta jumps and tries to hit Gas while Goku holds him back, but Gas dodges both of them and Vegeta hits the ground. So, damn, even with Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego, Gas is just, like, he's not having trouble with them. Or maybe he is. I, I need to actually see the uh, the actual, you know, panels, because maybe they depict, you know, Gas actually looking like he's having trouble with them, and maybe then, you know, for, for context. But based on what this is telling us, Gas is not having any trouble uh, with Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego together, which is insane. Uh, Goku and Vegeta keep attacking him, but Gas stops his blows without any problems, but he looks a bit surprised. Oh, excuse me, he looks a bit pressured. Okay, so he is having at least a little bit of trouble. Gas stops a punch from Vegeta and makes Vegeta hit himself. Gas then kicks Goku. All right, last, last, uh, last page. Goku and Vegeta get up quickly and attack Gas at the same time. Gas barely stops the attack. Gas uses a large key blast. Goku and Vegeta dodge it and use a Kamehameha and a Galakho against Gas. Gas teleports behind them and hits Vegeta with a mace he created with his powers. Then he tries to kick Goku with a mace, but Goku dodges it. Of course, makes sense, you know, Ultra Instinct. A Gas gets tired, drops the mace, and kicks Goku in the stomach. Gas steps Goku's ch steps oh he steps on goku's chest on the ground he is sick of them vegeta creates a big energy ball and tells goku to leave the area where gas is that ball is a technique of the gods of destruction if goku touches the ball he could disappear goku sees that gas is being distracted by vegeta and teleports vegeta fires the key ball and tells gas to stop it if he really is the most powerful warrior in the universe gas creates a shield which stops the key ball goku appears next to vegeta and helps him to push the key ball gas's shield disintegrates Elec is a bit worried seeing those new transformations, but Oil confirms him that they use those transformations against Granola too. Elec says everything's fine, then since he made the wish after Goku and Vegeta lost to Granola. Eh, I, I don't think it's, uh, it's going to go the way you, uh, you think. Elec also says Gas's universe is different from Granola's. Maki is confused to what he's talking about. Elec replies, just watch. Okay, um, Gas starts to return the key ball to Vegeta and Goku. He is pushing the key ball without touching it. So kind of like what uh, what Jiren did in the Tournament of Power when Goku launched the Spirit Bomb against him, he basically started pushing it back without you know even using his hands. Just when the ball is about to reach them, Vegeta walks away and leaves Goku alone trying to stop the key ball. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Vegeta goes for Gas, but Gas stops him and hits Vegeta several times in the stomach. Gas wonders if they are crazy thinking they can beat him. Then Gas prepares to finish off Vegeta. Goku manages to deflect the key ball towards the sky just before it reaches the city. He then goes to help Vegeta. Vegeta manages to punch Gas hard in the face. Gas wonders what kind of technique is he using is he using, and how he manages to move despite his injuries. Vegeta says, despite the damage you did to me, oh, excuse me, the damage you did to me is like my fuel. In other words, I'm getting stronger. And uh, so that's where the chapter ends. Okay. Um, hmm. I, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't I don't know how I uh really cuz that's that's where it ends that that's it. Uh okay, I mean it it um it ends kind of abruptly. Uh but yeah, uh, apparently 
uh, Elik, according to Elik, it's like uh, gas is completely different from granola. Also, uh, gas's universe is different from granola's. So I, I guess because um, I, I guess because gas was different than granola when the wish was made for him, it put him on a different league than granola when granola made the wish to become the strongest in the universe because based on his own you know potential it, it was just different than gas because gas was just born with i guess you could say like a higher potential than granola and because of that when gas had the wish made for him it put him on a different level than what granola was when he made the wish is i i guess is probably what they're trying to say or what elik is trying to say uh but yeah so it's a bit weird um like gas is um he's just pushing them back even though even though according to what this says earlier he was getting tired but then all of a sudden he's not tired anymore i don't um i don't know i again like i'll i'll wait to see, read the actual chapter when it gets released because maybe when i actually see the chapter I'll, I'll understand what's going on but from just reading this alone it just seems a little bit weird uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of the spoilers? Um, what do you think of what we just read right here? Do you do you like the fact that uh, it seems like Goku and Vegeta are going to be the ones who finish off gr uh, Gas? Because personally, I'm not a fan of it. I, I was really hoping that Granola was going to be the one because technically they're his enemy, not them. Uh, the only connection that they have is through Bardock, but that was Bardock, not Goku. And I know Bardock is Goku's father, but that's that's not that's not really the same. Like that's I don't know. It just I just um I don't know. Again, I'm I'm not making any any uh I'm not making any assumptions of what's going to happen. I'm just saying like I really hope it doesn't end with Goku and Vegeta just winning the day as always, because I. One thing that I liked about this arc, like I, I'm personally, I'm not a fan of this arc, if I'm being honest. But one thing that I did kind of like that they were doing, or Toyotaro was doing in the previous chapters, is that it seemed like he was kind of setting up Granola to be sort of the one who finishes off the heaters, especially Elik, because they're technically his enemy. Like everything bad ha that happened to him in his life were as a result of their actions. You know what I mean? So I, I, I was kind of hoping that he would be the one to finish them off, and maybe he still will. I just I, I I don't know based on what's being said in this chapter it kind of seems like maybe Goku and Vegeta are kind of going to be the ones to finish to finish off gas at least uh but I don't know I I, I guess we'll have to wait and see anyway guys uh let me know your thoughts like I said in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video please remember to leave a like share the video subscribe if you haven't make sure to hit the bell for notifications and I hope I see you guys in the next video, which hopefully will be my review for Dragon Ball Super Chapter 84, the official review, when it gets released. Bye for now.